Okay, today we have Sarge Goodchild, who's come from Boston. Is that for me or? Yeah, no, it's for Sarge. Okay, sorry for the technical deals. We're going to have this for you. You can't, you can't come, I'm not done. Sarge has become, through the last few years, just not only a board member, but a very good friend. He is the epitome, when I think of someone who's recovered, I think of Sarge. And he's got a really exciting story. He's not going to tell it this morning. He said it would take almost an hour to go through it. But he began life as a brain injured child who had a lot of issues. And through his therapies, he was completely recovered. And it's just so amazing and wonderful, I think, to have him here. And without any further ado, let me introduce Sarge Goodchild. So while Dana is changing the presentation for me, I just want to take a minute and thank Julie and Dana and the rest of the board of directors who've really been working tirelessly behind the scenes to make this conference come together. Um, Dana was up, I think, until 1 o'clock this morning stuffing bags and, and preparing this conference. So a big hand for um, Julie, Dana, and the board of directors. I'm Sergeant Goodchild. Um, I am the executive director and founder of a nonprofit organization just north of Boston by the name of Active Healing. I've been working with brain injured, learning disabled, kids with autism, reactive attachment disorder, and learning disabilities for 19 years. Um, what I do is called neurological reorganization. Um, and I always like to start with my favorite quote from Einstein, which is, nothing happens until something moves. Movement is not a separate disability. If you look out at the population of kids who have learning disabilities, who have autism, who have reactive attachment disorder, and you look closely enough, you will see that they have a movement disability as well. That their gross motor isn't as coordinated as it should be, their fine motor is not as coordinated as it should be, et cetera. And we have a tendency to look at that and see it as a separate and distinct disability. It is not a separate and distinct disability. It is at the center of what is going on for these children. Um, during my one hour presentation later this afternoon, I'm going to be going over a few different things. Um, one, I want everyone to understand the link between their child's behavior and um, improperly acquired developmental skills. Specifically, the functional movements that I'm most concerned with are the ability to crawl in a proper and sophisticated cross-lateral pattern, the ability to creep on all fours in, again, a sophisticated cross-lateral pattern, um, and what those do to integrate primitive reflexes, postural reflexes, and a whole bunch of other things that are vital to the child's social, academic, and behavioral success. Um, I want to make sure that as parents, anyone who comes to my one hour presentation is able to go home and check some of these fundamental skills and do their own screening to determine whether or not something that I have to offer fits with their family and with their lifestyle. Um, and third, I will make sure that I'm going to give you some take home things that you can do, that you can put in place very simple things that should have a big impact on your child's success. This picture is a picture of the people who, the, the female and the male winner of this year's Boston Marathon. And if you look at these folks, you will see that because of their running and their training, they have developed a very specific physical structure. I use this slide to illustrate the fact that a very specific set of functions will develop a very specific structure. In this case, we've got marathon runners and we have extremely skinny, almost skeletal people. These are not well-defined, well-muscled people. Um, they're exceptionally good marathon runners, though. <laughs> here's, here's, another, here's a picture of Usain Bolt and um, Fraser Price, who are both 
sprinters, Olympic world record setting sprinters, and their bodies are very different. They do exactly the same thing. They run. We have marathon runners and we have sprinters. And the slight difference in the way that those two things are applied lead to very different structures. When a child is on the floor learning how to crawl, they're developing a part of the brain known as the pons. There's one correct way to crawl. From what I can tell, there's 10,000 incorrect ways to crawl. And the difference can be as stark as the difference between having the body of Usain Bolt and having the body of Jepto, the marathon winner. Uh, so the pons does a number of different things. I'm not going to get too into details right now because I don't have the time this morning. But you will learn in my conference all about what's happening, when the pons is developing, and how that contributes to behavioral problems, attachment problems, and can lead to a diagnosis of autism. The pons is huge in sensory integration disorder. When the child is creeping, they're developing the midbrain structures. Creeping is essential for organization. It's where you get your physical balance. It's where you get your emotional balance. Um, again, I'm not going to go into too many details. There's one right way to do it. There's 100,000 wrong ways to do it. And again, the difference is very important. And then we get our cute little kid who's up and walking. And that's when they become, that's when they become really conversational, relatable. Um, it's where they get all their uniquely physical, intellectual, and, and physical skills. Um, so I will sum this all up by saying that function develops structure, but structure also develops function. One of the things that makes me very honored to be up in front of you is all of the phenomenal other speakers who are up here and the people who will be taking care of the structural side. There's a very important dietary side. And you folks have the opportunity to learn a tremendous amount about the interplay of all of these therapies. So that's it. Thank you very much.